that one more time so one bottom left diagonal and go left by one you then want to do one bottom left diagonal and go left by two so one two do another bottom left diagonal oops and go left from this block by five so one two three four five you then want to do one up left diagonal go left by three then do one up left diagonal then go on top by one do another up left diagonal go on top of that by two now from this block we want to go right by three one two three come back to this block we went three from and what we want to do is do two up left diagonal so one oops two and if we've done everything correctly then we should all connect by doing two on top of what we just built so one two it should do it like that coming back over to the right hand side of the pixel arts we need to find the block that i told us to remember and what we want to do from this block right here is go down from it by eight so one two three four five six seven eight then we want to do one bottom left diagonal and go down by six so one two three four five six do another bottom left diagonal go down by four one two three four we then want to do two bottom right diagonals so one one oh my god two and then go down from the last diagonal by one do another bottom right diagonal and go down by two so one two again do one bottom right diagonal and go down from it by three so one two three we then want to do one bottom left diagonal by two one two from this last block we placed we want to do two up left diagonals one two Coming back to this block that we placed them two diagonals from once we're here we want, we want to go down from it by one we then want to do two bottom left diagonals so one just loves to delete itself two we then want to go left from this last block by two so one two again from this block we want to do three up left diagonals so one two three then go up by one coming back down to this block that we just placed our up three upright diagonal up left diagonals from i'm sorry and once we found it we want to do we want to go down by one we then want to go left by two one two now from this block we want to do two things so make sure not to forget this block so place a yellow block on it or however you want to remember it by but anyway the first thing we want to do is go left from it by one we then want to do three up left diagonals so one aye 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 two three go up from our last diagonal by one again do one up left diagonal go up by one repeat what we just made two more times so one up left diagonal up by one one up left diagonal up by one we then want to do one up left diagonal two do another up left diagonal go up by one then we want to do two up left diagonals so one two from this last diagonal we want to go up from it by two so one two we want to do another up left diagonal go on top of that by two so one two and if we've done everything correctly we should be able to connect it by doing one up left diagonal 
and go on top of it by five. So one, two, three, four, five. Which should give us something that should look like this. Coming back down to that block I told us to remember, which is this block right here. Pause if necessary, but once we're ready, what we want to do is go down from it by four. So one, two, three, four. We then want to do one bottom left diagonal. Go down from here by one. We then want to repeat that two times. So one bottom left diagonal. Go down by one. One bottom left diagonal. Go down by one. We then want to do one bottom left diagonal. But this time go down from it by 16. So one, two, three. Do another bottom left diagonal and go down by one and do one more bottom left diagonal. Now from this block we want to do two things so let's place our yellow concrete there. So again like before we want to remember this block but anyways the first thing we want to do is go left by one. From this last block we just placed we want to do one bottom left diagonal Go left from it by three. Then we'll do another bottom left diagonal. Go left from that by eight. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We then want to do one up left diagonal. Go left from it by two. Repeat this one more time. So one up left diagonal. Left by two. Again, do one up left diagonal. Oops. Go left by three. One, two, three. We then want to do one up left diagonal. We'll go left from this block by seven. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Now from this block, we also want to do two things from this block. So just quickly do that. So we want to go up from it by seven. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Then we do one up left diagonal. Go up by three. Again, do one up left diagonal. And go up by three. Do another up left diagonal. Then go up by one. We then want to do three. Up left diagonal, so one, two, three. From this last diagonal we placed, we want to go left from it by one. We want to do another up left diagonal, go left by one, and then to finish it off, we want to do three up left diagonals, so one, two, three. Coming all the way back down where I said we would be doing two things, not that one over there, this one. And what we want to do when we find it is one bottom left diagonal, go left by one. If we've done everything correctly we should be able to connect everything together by doing two bottom left diagonals. So one, two. Now guys, what we need to do is head over to the bottom right hand side where we place this yellow block to remember this block from. And once we've found it, what we want to do is go down from it by 8. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. And if we've done the whole layout right, we should be able to connect both shoes together with a row of 62 on the ground. So 1, 2, 3, 4, And this is what it should look like. All we need to do now is fill in the, well, fill it in with a colour and also do in his facial parts, like his eyes, his nose, his, what else, his mouth, his glasses. So, just one thing that we need to do, come down to the shoes and 
basically there's one block missing so just fill that in with a block which should look like that so what we want to do is just fill it all in for now so start with the easiest things first what we want to do is fill in both of the shoes with this brown terracotta so this shoe and this shoe so you don't really need to see me doing it because it's just going to waste more time so I'll just quickly fast forward it while I do it and I'll come back when it's finished and this is what it's left us with so once we've done that we then want to fill in this whole trousers in with our green concrete again you don't really need to see me do this because it it does take up some time so I'll just quickly fast forward and then be with you when it's all finished which should give us something that should look like this. Moving on to his belt now. There's three separate sections as we can see. One, two, three. So what we can do is call them left, middle and right. So for the left section we want to fill that in with our brown terracotta. So let's just quickly fill this in. Once you've done that for the middle section, this needs to be filled in with our yellow concrete. Let's just quickly fill this bit in. Then for our last section, we just want to be filled in with brown terracotta, just like the first section. Just like this. Once we've done that, we can then move on to his hand and his arms. So coming over to his right hand side, we can clearly see where his hand is, right here. And what we want to do is fill that in with our sandstone. So I'll quickly fast forward it because it's run off. And we're back. So this is what his arm should look like. Then once you've done that, coming over to the left hand side, we can just about see part of his arm, just this little part here. So what we want to do is fill this out with our sandstone as well, just like that. So it looks like his arm's tucked in, it's like a pocket maybe, or just can't see it. Once we've done that, we can move on to filling in his t-shirt. So basically, with our white concrete, we can fill in this big giant space. And make sure you fill in the sleeves and the collars as well. So I'll be back just in a little bit. Now that we have everything done, all we need to do now is his face. So starting from the very bottom, so right here, what we want to do is 15 entire rows of sandstone. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. So we want to fill it up with our sandstone until we meet this row right here. Once you've done them 15 rows, what we want to do is from left to right for the next row is 15 sandstone. Then we're going to do 4 black. Oops. And then finish it off with a row of sandstone. Anyway, heading back over to the left hand side, what we want to do is 13 sandstone, so there. 
13. I want to do two black, four sandstone, one black, and finish it off with your sandstone. Again, from left to right, what we want to do is eight sandstone. Five black, seven sandstone, five, six, seven, one black, then finish the row off with your sandstone. Coming back to the left hand side now, what we want to do is seven sandstone, one black. 12 sandstone, 12, 1 black, and then the rest with sandstone. Again, from the left side, what we want to do is for the next two rows, they're going to be exactly the same, so we might as well do them both together. So, 6 sandstone, so 1. Two, three, four, five, six. Once one black, so one. Thirteen stone or sandstone, so one, two. Thirteen, then one black, and then thirteen sandstone to finish it off. Then for the next row, just like that. So we want to come back over to the left side. From here, we want to do six sandstones. So one, two, three, four, five, six. One black. Twelve sandstone. One black. And the rest is sandstone. Now to make things a little easier. What we're going to do is find this first black block from this row and once we find it what we need to do is using our black wall is we want to go on top of this by one then we want to do three upright diagonals so one two three go right from our last diagonal by one do another upright diagonal then go up on top of this by one we then we'll do three up left diagonals so one two three we now want to do one up right diagonal from this last block we just placed we want to do two things from it so the first thing we need to do is two up right diagonals so let's just place that there so two up right diagonals so one two Coming back down to that block that we need to do two things from, so right here. Once we're ready, we want to go right from it by eight. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We then want to do one upright diagonal. Then go right from it by two. We then want to finish it off by doing one upright diagonal. Once we've done that, we can now fill in all of these rows with stone. Make sure you don't go any higher than what we've built with our black. So let's just quickly put some stone where we've built this last bit of black that we built. And then extend it all the way, just like that. And then, yeah. And what we want to do is just fill all these rows in that we've already done with our sandstone. Okay, what we need to do is do the glasses and the eyes and the corners here. And then they're all done. Just like this. And once we've done that, we want again from left to right, 
We're going to do 11 sandstone. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. 4 black. And then the rest is sandstone. What we're going to do from left to right again is 10 sandstone. 1 black. 4 sandstone. 1 black. 4 sandstone. 6 black. Then finish it off with sandstone. Coming to the left side now, what we want to do is 8 sandstone. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 1 black. 9 sandstone. 1 black. 5 white. Made one little mistake. First mistake as well. So what we need to do is, do we see this black block right here? We just need to replace it with one sandstone. Then once we've done that, we want to do one black. Then finish it off with our sandstone. Heading back over to the left hand side again. And from here, we want to do seven sandstone. One black. Oh, two black, actually. We want to do eight sandstone. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We want to do one black. We then we want to do seven white. One black. And then the rest with sandstone. Give us something that should look like this for now. Do you know what? We might as well actually just fill this bit in with our sandstone because we don't need to build anything over here. So just like that. Just place that there and then them like that. Just so it makes it look a bit even. What we can do to make things easier is come over to this where we can see this white part and start from the left side of it. On top of this black what we want to do is one white then place one black to the left of it just like that. We then want to come and place one black to the left to the right of the right side and then fill in the middle part with white. We then want to go on top of the left side of the black by four, so one, two, three, four. We then want to do three upright diagonals, so one, two, three. We then want to go right by four, so one, two, three, four. Do three bottom right diagonals, so one, two. Three, and then go down until you reach the end. What we want to do now is one row of white, just like that. We then want to do four white, one black, four white. We then want to do two more rows of white. One row of black, then one row of sandstone. What we now can do from the right side is where we've got this little bit, is we want to do two rows of sandstone. Actually do one more row of sandstone. Then we want to do three black wool, two sandstone. And then three sandstone, two black wool. 
and then fill this rest of this gap with sandstone just like that now from this block here what we want to do is do one up left diagonal actually do another up left diagonal and another up left diagonal and then go up by two and then that is the outline here of his glasses so just what we want to do is come down to this upside down L and from the right from the right of it yeah we want to do two upright diagonals so one two we then want to go right from here by four so one two three four we then want to do one sandstone in between there we want to fill this in with sandstone too because that's his nose we then want to do three blocks on top of here just like that and then two blocks on top of it and then basically we, we need to get our out our black wall and do diagonals just like that connect that together because it's his glasses we then from this block here we want to go up on top of it by three so one two three we then want to do from here do two up left diagonals so one two then go left by one we then from the top of here we want to do two sandstone and then do another row of sandstone then do your black wall just like that we then want to do from the bottom we want to do three rows of white so one two three now from the right we want to do three in with our white then one black then use the white to finish it off then we want to do another row of three just like that oh we need to fill in this part with our sandstone just like that let's have a little look sorry instead of doing them two sandstone do it with your black wall instead what we then want to do is fill this little part in between with our sandstone oops just like this and then the last thing we do need to do is fill in his hair so with our brown wool what we need to do is just fill in this little gap here all in to finish it off And that is it, Peter Griffin pixel art 100% completed. Thank you guys for watching another one of my videos and thank you again to Maddie Plays for just for suggesting this video. If you want to shelf self just like this then comment down any idea on what you would like to see me build next. Like, share, subscribe and turn on post notifications to never miss a video. Thank you and I'll see you in the next one. Bye! <laughs>